Hello and welcome to our daily prayers for Saturday. If you don't have the words for the prayers we're about to use, you can find them in the description box just below this video screen. There you will also find contact details for our minister Ian, who can get a prayer booklet to you and any other information you would like. May, may I also take this opportunity to warmly invite you to our Sunday morning service tomorrow, 11 o'clock on YouTube. It would be great to have you join us for that too. Just before we start, we're going to take a couple of moments of quiet just to still our hearts and minds. The peace of Christ be with us all. Let us say together. Through the Holy Spirit he has given us, God's love has flooded our hearts. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Sow righteousness for yourselves. Reap the fruit of unfailing love. Break up your unploughed ground. For it is time to seek the Lord until he comes and rains righteousness upon us. Today's psalm is number 23. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the stronghold of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? When the wicked advance against me to devour me, it is my enemies and my foes who will stumble and fall. Though an army besiege me, my heart will not fear. Though war break out against me, even then I will be confident. One thing I ask from the Lord, this only do I seek, that I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life to gaze upon the beauty of the Lord and to seek him in his temple. For in the day of trouble he will keep me safe in his dwelling. He will hide me in the shelter of his sacred tent and set me high upon a rock. Then my head will be exalted above the enemies who surround me. At his sacred tent I will sacrifice with shouts of joy. I will sing and make music to the Lord. Hear my voice when I call, Lord. Be merciful to me and answer me. My heart says of you, seek his face. Your face, Lord, I will seek. Do not hide your face from me. Do not turn your servant away in anger. You have been my helper. Do not reject me or forsake me, God, my Saviour. Though my father and mother forsake me, the Lord will receive me. Teach me your way, Lord. Lead me in a straight path because of my oppressors. Do not hand me over to the desire of my foes, for false witnesses rise up against me, spouting malicious accusations. I remain confident of this. I will see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. Wait for the Lord. Be strong and take heart and wait for the Lord. We're going to continue by praying together using the words of the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, and thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts, as we forgive our debtors. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory for ever. Amen. We're continuing our reading in the Gospel of Luke and we've reached chapter 11 
and verse 37. When Jesus had finished speaking, a Pharisee invited him to eat with him. So he went in and reclined at the table. But the Pharisee was surprised when he noticed that Jesus did not first wash before the meal. Then the Lord said to him, Now then, you Pharisees clean the outside of the cup and dish, but inside you are full of greed and wickedness. You foolish people, did not the one who made the outside make the inside also? But now, as for what is inside you, be generous to the poor, and everything will be clean for you. We're going to continue by praying together using the prayer on the sheet. And after that, there'll be a time of silence. And that's a chance for you to bring to God the things which are on your heart and the things that God lays on your heart. So we pray together. Promise keeping God as you surprised and amazed the disciples of Jesus by pouring out your spirit upon them at Pentecost. Fill our lives and hearts with the Holy Spirit, that we might keep in step with the Spirit, to pray and act according to your will. When we do not know what to pray, inspire and empower our prayers in Jesus' name. And we now spend some time in silence. And we pray together, life-giving spirit, comforter and counsellor, lead us into all truth, so that in times of trial we might trust in God's word and empower us to live as faithful witnesses of Jesus, so that by prayer and action we might bring comfort to others and lead them to Christ, in whom alone is life and hope. Amen. Out of his glorious riches may God strengthen us with power through his Spirit in our inner beings, so that Christ may dwell in our hearts through faith. Being rooted and established in love, may we have power together with all the Lord's holy people to grasp how wide and long and high and deep is the love of Christ and to know this love that surpasses knowledge, that we may be filled to the measure of all the fullness of God. The power of the Holy Spirit fill us afresh today. May the love of the Father enfold us the wisdom of the Son enlighten us, the fire of the Spirit inflame us, and may the blessing of God rest upon us today and forevermore. Amen. I'm so glad you were able to join us today, and I do hope you'll be able to join us tomorrow at 11 o'clock on YouTube for our Sunday morning service. May you know the Lord with you for the rest of today.